It's your life. Okay. 34-year-old Chris Valerio needs the help of his parents, John and Beverly, to get him off the couch and moving around the house. A very painful task for this family. Chris is virtually helpless. And the frustrating part of all this is there is a very good chance this could have been prevented. Just five years ago, Chris was a healthy college graduate, working summers as a landscaper, self-sufficient, hardworking. His nightmare began in 2009 when his ring finger began to twitch. And I said, this isn't good. We, we have to start seeing doctors. And that started us on the path of, of seeing different doctors. We saw 15 different neurologists or neurosurgeons because when he was 12, he had uh, scoliosis surgery. So our first thought was maybe it has something to do with you know, the rods in his back, um, disc problems, things like that. Um, and uh, none of those doctors suggested Lyme disease at all. Chris likely acquired a tick-borne illness while landscaping, but neurologists speculated it was an ailment like anxiety or depression that was the root cause of Chris's condition. But Chris continued to worsen, unable to speak. His nervous system ravaged by years of misdiagnosis or no diagnosis. And one doctor even said, he's a young guy, he's going to have to learn to live with it. And I said, absolutely unacceptable. And I'm not accepting that. And we didn't. I saw Chris for the first time about three months ago. The Valerios finally tracked down specialist number 17, Dr. Richard Horowitz, author of the best-selling book, Why Can't I Get Better? And a world-renowned pioneer in Lyme disease research. But unfortunately, by the time that he had reached me, he was already in a wheelchair, unable to stand, unable to speak, uh, with tremors that were severely affecting his life. Patients with Lyme disease who come to me who are sick as Chris they don't just have Lyme that's making them sick. With one tick bite, you can get multiple infections in your body. He'd end up having West Nile virus, which is a virus that can affect the brain. We tested him for heavy metals. He was very high on mercury, as well as lead, and mercury can cause tremors, like we see in Chris. Despite these very heady days of modern medicine, the great majority of medical specialists still look at Lyme disease through a very narrow diagnostic lens. Traditional medical education has always taught doctors to find one underpinning cause for all a patient's symptoms. But if a Lyme patient like Chris Valerio has 35 serious symptoms, all co-infections eating away at the victim's body, most conventional specialists will try to explain all 35 symptoms away with one primary diagnosis, tragically assuring chronically ill patients like Chris Valerio to fall through the cracks. And people think, oh, I always get a bullseye rash, and nothing could be farther from the truth. The only way you get better from Lyme disease is if you only get Lyme without associated co-infections. These are all the supplements that uh, Chris needs to take to, um, you know, for this illness. Beverly's routine never changes from day to day. Medication and supplements to fight the relentless poison overpowering Chris's body. They're sorted and labeled. 40 pills and nearly 10 oils and or liquids each and every day. He can't swallow pills. I put it all in a measuring cup, put it in a juice, and that's his morning cocktail. Ready? Everything Chris swallows is ingested by a straw. On rare occasions when the Valerios can afford it, Chris undergoes treatment in an infrared sauna, detoxifying dangerously high levels of mold and heavy metals like lead and mercury. The tick-borne illness rendering Chris's immune system too weak now to flush them from the body. We'll be treating his heavy metals, his mold, uh, detoxing him, and helping him with physical therapy and rehab to hopefully regain some of the function that he's lost. Chris's nightmarish journey has plagued those who were closest to him, loved ones, who would do anything possible to reclaim all that wasted time. You know, with Chris being sick, it's like we're all sick. You know, our whole... Our whole day, our, our world is around doing what we can to get Chris healthy. You know, a lot of times we'll think, oh, if, you know, the third doctor we saw or the fifth doctor we saw would have suggested being tested for Lyme, we wouldn't be here. Well, we're here. We are here. And I always say, you know, and I'll say to the doctor, you know, give Chris back his health and you'll give us all back our lives. Meantime, the Valerios have put all their money, all of their energy, and above all, their hope into creating an awareness of the cataclysmic effects of a simple infectious tick bite so that others don't have to endure similar hardships 
and the seemingly endless antiquated notions from conventional specialists. I'd sell a kidney if it meant getting what he needs to get better. I mean, that's what it's all about. You know, it's, it's all about your kids. Anyone with kids knows that.